In this demonstration, I'm going to model up the piston head for our engine assembly project. On my screen, I have the piston head drawing, and I also have a session of SolidWorks open. I'm going to start a new part, so File, New, New Part. And the first thing I'll do is I'm going to make sure that the unit of measure is correct. So it's set to model in inches, so IPS, that's correct. I'll go back to the blueprint. The base feature of this part can be represented by a cylinder. So I'll start by modeling up a cylinder that measures 2.75 inches in diameter. It's got a plus or minus one thousandth of an inch tolerance applied to it. And I'm going to extrude that circle, or that sketch, a distance of 2.35 inches. I'll go back to SolidWorks. I'm going to create this sketch on the top plane. I'll click off of the plane to deselect it. And from the sketch tab, I'll draw on a circle. I'll place the center point of that circle at the origin. I'll dimension the circle at 2.75 inches. If I access the parameters of the dimension, I can set it to a three decimal place dimension, and I can also apply a tolerance to it. In this case, I'm going to apply the symmetric tolerance, and the tolerance is plus or minus one thousandths of an inch. I'll select OK. My sketch is fully defined. From here, I'll go to the Features tab. I'm going to use the Extrude tool, and I'm going to extrude the circle a distance of 2.35 inches. So in the Distance field, 2.35, I get a preview of the extrusion. I'll select OK. I'm going to look at the part from a default isometric view, and I'll save my work. I'll save it to the working folder, and I'll call this part Piston Head. The next thing I'll do, I'll go to the blueprint. We're going to make these cutouts here and here. I'm going to use this dimension and this dimension to define the cutouts. And I'm going to create the sketch for the cutout on the front plane. I'll sketch in one, I'll make the cut, and then I'll mirror it to the other side. I initially place the part centered on the origin. That way I can use the default planes that run through the center of the origin, and, and in this case run through the center of our part to mirror features about the part. From here, I'll go back to SolidWorks. I'll create a sketch on the front plane. I'll look normal to the sketch plane, and then I'll click off of the part to deselect the front plane. I'll start by drawing in a vertical center line that's coincident with the origin. Now that I've got the vertical center line drawn in, I'm going to use the corner rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a rectangular shape. I'm going to start by placing the first endpoint coincident with this edge, and then the second endpoint will be coincident with this theoretical edge. You'll need to be looking perpendicular to your sketch or normal to your sketch to be able to select this edge. Once I lock onto the edge, left click. I'll select OK to exit the rectangle tool. I'll now use the Smart Dimension tool to apply this 1.515 dimension and this 2 inch dimension. For the 1.515 dimension, I'll go into Smart Dimension. I'll select this vertical line. 1.515. I'll set it to a 3 place dimension. And then for the 2 inch dimension, I'll start by selecting this vertical line. Then I'll select this vertical center line. And I'll drag my cursor to the left of the vertical center line. 
and it creates this dimension. I'll dimension it at 2 inches. From here I can select OK to exit the dimension tool. I also have a fillet in this corner. The fillet has a radius value of 0.125. So from the sketch tab, I'll use the fillet tool. I'll set the radius value at 0.125 and then I'll apply the fillet to this corner. From here I'll select OK. I'll select OK to exit the fillet tool. You can see that my default settings for my dimensions are set to two decimal places. From here I can change this to a three decimal place by coming over to the parameters for that dimension and change it to a three decimal place dimension. My sketch is fully defined. From here I'll go to the Features tab. I'll use the Extruded Cut tool. I'll tumble my view to preview the cut. I need this cut to go through the part in both directions, so under Direction 1 I'll change it to Through All Both. And then I'll select OK. The next thing I'll need to do is I'll need to mirror this cut to the other side of the part. From the Features tab, I'll go to the Mirror tool. For the Mirror Face Plane, I'll expand the Feature Manager Flyout menu, and I'm going to mirror this about the right side plane. I can see a preview of the mirrored cut. Everything appears to be correct. I'll select OK. I'll save my work and I'll look at my part from a default isometric view.